Hey, this is John Sanmez from simpleprogrammer.com. I've got another video for you about a, a topic that I'm, I'm pretty passionate about. If you've, if you've subscribed to my blog at simpleprogrammer.com, you, you've probably kind of figured out already what my views on this, this topic are. Um, so, and, and I'll, I'll caveat this by saying that now, you know, I'm, I'm a published author, so, uh, so and, and you'll, you'll see why this, this makes sense, why I'm saying this. Um, if, you haven't, if you haven't seen my book, by the way, check out uh, Soft Skills, the Software Developer's Life Manual. Um, it's out there on Amazon, and you, you can get it now. But, um, uh, but so, so, so the topic that I want to talk about is gatekeepers, and that's why I brought up the book, is because in the publishing industry, there are gatekeepers. And uh, I'm the kind of person who, I really dislike gatekeepers. I think that we've got a big problem where in a lot of different industries, especially in software development, we have gatekeepers that keep people from being able to, to do things. In fact, you know, if you're, wa you're watching this video, so you can see that I'm bypassing a certain gatekeeper. You know, YouTube has allowed a lot of people to be able to, to, uh, to reach audiences, to produce actual video content that they wouldn't have been able to produce because you know, there was the gatekeeper of the, the, the production and movie industry, right? And, and you, you couldn't just you know, be on video and, and air your thoughts to it before, before YouTube and the internet came, came along. So we're losing gatekeepers, which is good, but I think we still have a lot. And, and I think a lot of the places we have gatekeepers are, are things like the publishing industry still, right? Now you can still, you can publish a book, but there's still this, this kind of you know, prestige that comes. Obviously, you know, when, when I published my, my book, uh, I think a lot, of, a lot of people suddenly said, oh, you know, now, now, now I'm gonna listen to what you say. You know, there was this kind of, where, where it doesn't really make sense. It's because I've gotten through a gatekeeper. So, so there's, I mean, there's some, some good to, to gatekeepers. Like, don't get me totally wrong, like quality level does, does matter. But in a lot of places, gatekeepers can kind of hold you back. And so I'm, I'm very much against that, uh, especially you now, this is where I'll get into the, the part where, where people get upset, is in the education, right? And so there's a lot of gatekeepers to education. And I think that you know, a lot of the expensive universities are these gatekeepers. They really want to make it so that uh, you, know, you feel like you have to get a degree, you have to learn from them. And so, you know, I say screw the gatekeepers, right? Like, <laughs> you don't need to let these people stop you from doing the things that you want to do. Now, there's, I mean, there's places where it's going to make sense to go through a more formal method. But, you know, being out there, you know, I, I tell everyone to create a blog and, and, you know, and if you want to create a podcast, again, you know, these, are, these are ways to avoid the gatekeepers. And education is, is a major way as well to, or, or through education, if you can learn to teach yourself, that's a, that's a key skill, right? You don't need someone to teach you. You don't need someone to approve your stuff, right? You, you can go out there and put stuff out there and then let, the, let people, let the audience determine whether or not the stuff is good. You don't have to be subject to a gatekeeper. So a couple of tips on how you could do this, right? Different industries. Obviously, uh, you know, for writing or publishing, you can create a blog. So you can screw gatekeepers that way, right? You don't have to write for New York Times. You can make your own, right? And you can report on, on what you want to report on. For video, you can create YouTube videos or you can go in Vimeo or, or whatever it is. You can create your own video. You don't have to, I mean, let's say that you wanted to become an actor. You could create your own films. I mean, you could create, do your own clips or, or reel and you could, you could actually even sell. I've, uh, I've bought documentaries and, and even short films for, for a few bucks that someone has put on the internet that they created themselves. They didn't have to go through that whole industry. For books, you can publish, self-publish. There's companies like LeanPub out there that allow you to do that. I've self-published and, and sold video courses uh, on my own. And, uh, and for education especially, you can go and learn by yourself. You don't have to go to a university and, and have someone teach you. You can become the person who teaches yourself. So anyway, that's what my thoughts on, on gatekeepers. As I said, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm against them. You know, sometimes it's, it's necessary to go through a gatekeeper if you want to do something like have a published book that's that's out there if you want that kind of prestige because you know again I'm, I'm a big realist in reality 
there's there's a there's a difference between going through a gatekeeper. Getting a Harvard degree does still mean something, but all I'm saying is that you shouldn't let gatekeepers hold you back, especially when you're starting out. You can produce stuff on your own, and then perhaps when you get to the build your own audience or you get to the point where you want to excel beyond that, then you can go through a gatekeeper. So that's it for this video. Uh, hopefully you've liked it. If you did, subscribe to the channel and I will give you more videos just like this one. Take care.